Hi friends, I'm Sanjay Naik from Poly Classes. Welcome back. I'm going to teach you how to study mathematical subjects. What is the importance of mathematical subjects? And how to study? The simple law is practice, practice, practice. You have to go on practicing the examples for all the mathematical subjects. There are no options. It's very clear, the more you practice, the more you can get. I've seen so many students cannot write the formula itself. They write the formula in whatever way they can remember, but if the formula is wrong, then you don't get any marks. So you make this a habit, make a list of all the formulae. The second point is with each formula, write down the parameters or all the unknown terms or the variable terms and write down the proper units required for all these parameters or unknown terms. See, these two steps are combined, interrelated. You are writing the formula and writing the parameters. So when you read again, then you can remember the formula as well as the parameters or unknown variables and the proper unit. The next important point is you must solve a few examples for every formula. Now there can be small formula with maybe just three variables. Then in that case, solve at least five to six examples. If there are big formulae, that means there are four, five, six, seven variables or unknowns then you have to solve at least two to four examples. The next important point is understand the procedure to complete the examples. I have seen so many students, they write down the procedure, but they cannot complete the example. If you remember the procedure, then definitely you can write the entire procedure in the time of the exam. Understand the steps involved and which are applied to solve the examples. So the procedure and the steps, if are properly combined, then you can get the full example. You practice the full example. You can remember the full example. Even if the values of the unknowns or parameters are changed, you can write the example correctly, you can solve the examples correctly. This is the feature of this method. And the last point is recall and remember the examples. That means once we have written down the examples, then you have to read the examples. If there is one particular formula, you have solved five examples, then you read all those five examples to understand the procedure and the steps involved. Once this is over, close your book and try to recall what are the steps taken and in what way you have written down the steps. So the procedure is complete. And if you can recall and remember this, then you are sorted out and you can practice any number of examples, any number of formulae can be learned by you. So friends, this is it. 